It's John with hookahjohn.com here again. Today I've got uh, something new I want to show you. Hookah John having a good, nice hair day. What do you guys think? All right, that's not going to be the topic of today. Uh, we're going to discuss some bowls with you. Let me show you some of these here. Here are some of the bowls from the Hookah John line. You've seen the uh, Harmony, the 80 feet, the Trimini, an Alien, a Flying Saucer. All good bowls, all good bowls. You guys are liking these. They've been out for some time, years in some cases. All good bowls. Um, a lot of you guys use foil. That's what these all have in common with. You've got to use foil or you can throw a lotus on it. People ask me, does the 80 feet fit the uh, lotus? Okay. I always hear out there, people love the 80 feet because it fits a lotus. I don't agree, but somehow you guys still like to do that. I don't agree with that, but you guys are doing it, so good for you. Uh, Trimony fits it real perfect. It for sure is not going to work on this bowl. All right, that's a flying saucer. The Harmony bowl, still pretty good. Or uh, the Alien bowl, still going to fit pretty good. Now what we did to add to the line, make a little bit more of a unique design, we decided to come out with this bowl. Shit, I haven't named it. I think I'll name it as soon as we finish the video. I can sit here and think about it. This one fits the Lotus bowl perfectly. It's got a little lip in here. Check these out, I'm going to show these to you up close. It's got this little lip in here that you can um, rest your lotus in. And you've got a good amount of foil to either pack over pack if you want to, also under pack if you want a little space between your lotus and your foil. Check that out. And we've got some cool new colors for you. Got a cool little HJ design. Uh, we're working on these. What we've got right now are the limited option ones with the HJ stamp. We're going to try to do a better job with that and put them out. So I'm going to have a few of these up for sale, maybe at a discounted price, but they're not going to last. Probably by the time this video is up, they're all going to be gone because we only have like 10 of them. All right. So what we do with these, let's pick something to smoke. What do we got to choose from? We got Alfacker, we got some Starbuzz, we got Alchemist, we got some Tangiers. What kind of mood are we in today? I don't know. Someone pick it. Call it. Call it. Call it. All right, I heard Tangiers. Okay, let's see which flavor of Tangiers we've got going on here. Is it new lime or new lemon lime? What is it? I think it's lemon lime or new lime. Very close in flavor. But if you compare the two, we have one open, right? I think this might be the opposite one. That's not it. I'm not gonna look for it now, but we do have both of those open. So what we're gonna do, which one do you want me to use? Black and white? All right, we're gonna use black and white. We've been experimenting with several brands over the last few months, getting packing methods down, what works. Look, it all works. You just get something that works for you, that you like to do regularly. So what we've come up with, the best way of packing, say, Tangiers in this one, actually with most brands, right? Most brands is trying to pack it down up to this line right here. See the uh, bottom inner line right there? Where my fingernail goes right up to there, all right? Don't worry about the spire too much. Um, but we're gonna pack this in there and see what we can do. That was kind of vague when I said don't worry about spire too much. Of course, you gotta worry about it. You don't wanna cover it for those people who don't understand what I meant by that because it did not make any sense. We're gonna pack this down pretty good. Just like that, maybe a little more. Now it's looking real messy. I'm just gonna put a bunch in and then pack it down more and we're gonna clean out a little bit. Check this out. This is pretty much to the level I wanna be and the denseness, the density that I want it to be at. Maybe we could use a little more in here. And then what I wanna do, just cause I wanna stay clean. Let's see, you get your perfect donut hole in there pretty much. It's like a mold. Okay, you guys can see, you can tell kind of how much I'm packing. But I wanna clean that out. A little bit more. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's put some of this back in. Okay. I think maybe pack just a tad more. Just go like that. There we go. See, lately I've been saying keep it simple. This is 
not as simple, but if you think about it, it still is. It's hookah. I mean, what's this taking me? All but a couple of minutes. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Add a little, little tobacco inside the spire. It's not gonna hurt, but let's be a little bit picky because I've been rushing things lately. All right. Good here. Now we're gonna get our lotus bowl right on there, and we're gonna throw some charcoal in here. This needs to be flipped. Now. Many of you guys know that I like the Lotus Bowl. However, I just don't use it all the time, but I'm going to now. Uh, there's a lot of talk out there about the Lotus not working good with flats. I don't know. Not working good with titaniums because titaniums are not as hot. Still works, still works. It's a preference. It's uh, something you get used to and you do over and over. Repetition. And we'll put this on here, and we're going to take it over there. I'm going to close this up to get some heat in there. It's almost safer to walk around in this. Not that I recommend you do it, but if you had your lotus up here and you wanted to walk around with a hot lotus, pretty dangerous. So this will help you just a little bit. All right, let's go over here and get this going. And while we're there, I'm going to show you a couple of different colors. And you'll have to excuse my dirty hookah that I was using earlier. I was smoking without it. These just came in and I wanted to show you the difference in these. All right, uh, let's see this one here. So here we've got a few colors. Our colors are not fully uh, determined yet. We're only gonna have four colors, I'd say. And they're gonna be something like, uh, I don't know. They're, they're all gonna be this vertical style. Just to change it up a little bit. See, all of these are bowls, whether it's uh, my bowls or another brand's bowls, most of them are pretty good. I think mine are really good. Um, but if you've got other bowls out there, pretty decent. Um, and again, for those of you guys who like the Lotus, this is going to be another accessory for you to have. I'm not telling you to toss out what you have, just add another one to it if you like. Pricing on this, we said it's going to be $37.99. All right? I hear all the moaning and complaining right now, but that's what it's going to be. So check these out. The good thing about this, I was going to do it, I planned it for the video and I didn't. We have a little lip around here too. You can also use foil. You don't have to use a lotus and it's just a, another harmony bowl. All right, so you got your inner lip there, with the colors bleeding together. We got this little base here that I like to keep uh, the bowl stable when it's standing up. You guys saw all the colors. Let's take, give this little Puff. Those of you guys that do use the Lotus know it takes a few minutes to warm up. And this one looks like it still needs a few more minutes. You know what? I'm going to stop this video, give it five more minutes, all right, and come right back. All right, guys, so we got big clouds with this. This is good. Um, are they bigger than using foil? I don't know. A lot of you guys love the Lotus. I supported the Lotus always. It's a good product. Is it a must-have product? Apparently from the sales, it's a must-have product because any product can come out one day and sell a ton the first week and then they never sell again. But this has been a consistent product, so kudos to uh, uh, people at Cloud for making such a great product. And um, so we wanted to do this to match, kind of go with that product. You don't need this bowl for the Lotus. You want this bowl for the Lotus. That's about it. Do you have to have it? No. But it's a cool bowl. Check it out. I like it. Um, so we're smoking Tangier's new lemon lime. I'm pretty sure it's lemon lime and not lime. I could taste lemon in it. You got a picture of that on there. Bowl, how it looks, how it performs. You guys know how Lotus works. You get the little cap. You get. I got four titanium coals in there, flats. and it's smoking good. I'm gonna continue to smoke this for the next, uh, I don't know, you guys use Lotus more than me, so they last, what, about an hour and a half? With this much, uh, with the amount of tangiers that I put in there, I'm sure I'm gonna be able to restock coals in there, which I will after about an hour, um, depending on how long they last in the Lotus. And that's it, so check these out. They're gonna be online soon. I think I'm gonna just do, um, <clears throat> A little pre-sale right now, get these off my desk, 
and they should be ready in about a week or so. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching hookahjohn.com. Make sure to join Facebook's Hookah John's Circle of Friends. All right, we'll see you there. Also, check out royalhookahforum.com. If you need anything hookah-related, hookahjohn.com. All right, guys. Have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving.